Have you ever wondered what makes you attractive? Perhaps you've looked in the mirror and tried to figure out what makes you stand out the most, or remembered a time when someone mentioned a particular feature of yours they liked, but being attractive or sexy is subjective and depends on each person's preference. So how can you make yourself more attractive? The first thing you should know is that attraction begins with your first impression, whether it's for a job interview or a first date. Everyone wants to look their best and seem attractive and confident, unintentionally. Many of us rely on that first impression to decide whether a person is trustworthy, honest, or would make a good leader. It's not that we're shallow. We just can't help ourselves. Our brains are wired to size up our surroundings. This is where we branch off into heuristics, the process by which we make mental shortcuts to arrive at decisions. Since everyone is subject to being judged on their appearance, here are some habits you can start to make yourself seem more attractive. Number one, learn to tell stories. Everyone loves a good story, and the better you become at telling stories, the more interesting you will sound. By nature, the human attention span is quite short. While it can range from two seconds to over 20 minutes, the average currently sits at around 8.25 seconds. So the more engaging and interesting you are, the longer you will be able to hold their attention. To tell better stories, you have to be relatable and connect with your audience. There are countless books filled with ideas on how to be a better storyteller. So if you need some help, Check them out. Don't let fear hold you back from being your most authentic self. Number two, listen attentively. Another way to be more attractive is to listen. Have you ever tried to have a conversation with someone who was just waiting for you to finish so they could start talking? It's frustrating and demeaning. Being that one person who actually listens to someone will make you more attractive. It may seem surprising, but many of us just wanna be heard and seen. Listening is an important tool when it comes to relationships because it lets the other person know that you're interested in them and they will in turn be interested in you. As Dutch professor and writer Henry Nouwen once stated, the beauty of listening is that those who are listened to start feeling accepted, start taking their words more seriously and discovering their own true selves. Listening is a form of spiritual hospitality by which you invite strangers to become friends. So how do you become a better listener? Practice. When you find yourself in a conversation, try not to follow your thoughts or ideas, just listen. You may be surprised by what you actually learn about them. Another way is by asking open-ended questions. After all, we often tend to interrogate the other person instead of allowing them the space to speak. Number three, take care of yourself. Taking care of yourself is vital for becoming an attractive person. This means taking care of your entire being, whether physical, emotional, mental, spiritual, or financial. Sure, you should eat your vitamins, drink water, and get exercise to look and feel better, but you should also work to improve all aspects of your life because each aspect intersects and depends on the other. If your mental health is not great, your physical health might suffer as well, and vice versa. There may be times and seasons where one area of your life may be difficult to manage or take care of, but that doesn't mean that other areas of your life need to suffer. Taking care of yourself can sometimes look like taking a rest day and relaxing at home. And it can also look like going to the gym and doing tasks you've put off for a while. However, only you know what you need. And if you haven't figured it out, take some time to learn what you need in order to feel cared for. Number four, be more open. Be more open? What does that mean? Well, it can mean two things. Earlier, I mentioned heuristics. The American Psychology Association defines heuristics as an experience-based strategy for solving problems or making a decision that often provides an efficient means of finding an answer, but it doesn't guarantee a correct outcome. For example, we sometimes look to our past experiences to figure out how to behave in the future, but relying too much on the past may lead to closing ourselves off from trying new things. So a way to be more attractive is to be more open to opportunities, people, and experiences. Being more open can also refer to your emotional landscape as well. Being more open does not only refer to being more open-minded politically, but it can mean to welcome all the changes that occur in life. It means confronting those challenges in a way that still creates space for you to be, to just exist. You don't have to be strong or harden yourself against the challenges, but rather be open to feeling the full spectrum of your emotions without shattering. In a way, it means demonstrating emotional intelligence, fortitude, and grace in the middle of adversity, which are all attractive qualities. And number five, develop interpersonal skills. Another way to be more attractive is to develop your interpersonal skills. These are defined as the behaviors and tactics a person uses to interact with others effectively. 
though not many have them. Interpersonal skills are necessary for you to move and thrive as a social being. Common interpersonal skills include emotional intelligence, empathy, communication, reliability, openness to feedback, leadership, and teamwork. For example, everyone loves the person who takes leadership in a difficult situation. Many people are attracted to leaders, not just because of the title or position they hold, but because leaders are reliable and are great communicators. Being attractive is more than just looks and first impressions. It's also the lasting impression you leave on someone. It also involves how you treat that person and how you make them feel. Being attractive is the ability to reflect the light within you onto others.